Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on CNC pocketing and profiling milling video tutorial using EdgeCam. This is in fact problem 4, demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCam for generation of G&M codes for both pocket and profile milling on a workpiece. As I told you this is session 2. In session 1 we have completed the design part of this. As you see here this was the design given and we have completed the entire design part. This uh, circle we have created, this square has been created, this profile has been created as per the dimensions and as per its exact locations. Now we are going into the manufacturing phase. Now I'll open the open the edge cam now. Now you see here options manufacturing I'll go. Okay, once you go to options manufacturing, you select fanuk3x.mcp. This you select, this fanuk3x.mcp you select. Now you see here, now once you have come to the manufacturing phase, you know very well this is profiling. That means the tool of diameter 4, please look to my drawing. This is a tool of diameter 4 has to go along this. There is no alliance left here. It is 6 mm is the depth of cut and uh, every peck increment is 2. That means once it goes by 2 mm, then 4 mm, then 6 mm. In that way it goes. Okay. Now first we will concentrate on the profiling of this first. Now tooling I will go. Milling cutter I will go. I'll, uh, because the diameter, the width of the cut, that is uh, slot is 4 mm. That is why I am taking end mill diameter 4. I will just say okay. Now milling cutter of diameter 4 has been selected. Then I will go for operations. And profiling I will click. See here that 4 mm diameter has come. Now on the carefully double click on the profile. Okay, once you double click on the profile, right button, right button, right button you do three times. Now you get everything. General climb, don't change any of these things. Let it be as it is. Okay, I am not worried about the offset here at least. This profiling, I don't have any offsets. Only for pocketing we have offsets. Don't give any offsets and all that. Okay, tooling you go. Speed, let us say you give 1500 RPM. If they are not given, you assume 1500. If they are given, whatever they are given, you, you take it. Speed rate 50 mm per minute is okay. Plunge speed is also in the Z direction 10 mm per minute. That's also okay. Depth of cut you see here. And I have clearly given it is 6 mm should be the depth of cut. And cut increment should be 2 mm. In that way, everything is okay here. You just say okay. Okay, now you, you clearly see here. And if you can clearly see here. Okay, 1 is 2, 1 is 4, 1 is 6 mm. In that way, totally 6 mm depth of tough cut you get. That is first, it will cut by minus 2, then minus 4, and then minus 6. In that way, it cuts. In the simulation, you clearly see. Okay, now you see here, dynamic, I'll go. Isometric, I'll go. Okay, now once you do this, again, I'm concentrating on this pocketing, that is pocketing of square. Now what I'll do, tooling, milling cutter, I'll go. Then for rough milling, it is 6, sir. You take diameter 6. Let's say okay. Then operations you go. Roughing you go. Roughing you go. Double click on this. Right button, right button. Now if you see here, carefully you see here, the important thing is uh, the step over is 50, don't change. Climb also, you don't change. Offset, because they're given in the problem, you should have an also offset of 0.5 mm on the sides sides and 0.5 mm on the base. In that way, compulsorily you take 0.5 here because it is given in the problem. Okay. Then tooling is feed rate 100 is okay. And rough feeding, the rough speed is 1500. That is also given. That is also okay. Okay. And depth you see here. Depth you take it as minus 6. Okay. Minus 6 you take. Cut increment is 2. This you take. Now it is rough milling only. That means rough milling means initially, okay, initially it cuts by 2, then 4, then 5.5. The final 0.5 will be reserved for finish milling, okay. And even this 20 mm will be actually 19 mm. And during finishing, that 0.5 will be removed throughout so that it becomes 20, okay. Now the roughing operation is over. Now again, two leg, milling cutter you go. Then for finish milling, you take 4, 4 mm diameter, okay, you take this, 
Okay, then operations you go, flat land finishing only you take. Flat land finishing, that is finishing of this. Square pocket has to be done. Double click on this, right button, right button. Now you see here, all you re retain same tooling and the speed is, you can take it as 2000 because for finishing, the speed of uh, better let it be more. In that way, I've taken the speed as this, feed rate is 50. For uh, finishing, I will decrease the feed rate. Let it be like that. Then depth is minus 6 you take. Minus 6 you take. And just say OK. OK, once you give this, you can clearly see uh, that pink portion, what you get here is 5.5 to 6 only. That is depth of 5.5 to 6 only is the finishing. And it will not only do on the base, but it will do on the sides also. So that 19 will become 20 and 5.5 depth of cut will become 6. Please carefully observe this. Okay. Now, isometric I'll go. Okay. In the same way, tooling I'll go. Milling cutter I'll go. End mill 6 mm I'll take. This I'll say okay. Now I'll concentrate on this. Now for this, rough milling is also over. Finished milling is also over. Now I'm concentrating on this. First I'll do the rough milling and then finish milling of this circular pocket. Now I have taken milling cutter of diameter 6. Okay. Then I will go for operation. Roughing I will go. And I will double click on this. And right button, right button. Okay. Carefully you see. See here offset again. I have given offset. It should be 0.5 on the sides. And 0.5 on the base offset. Okay. That you have it. Because if they give 0.1, you take 0.1. But in the problem, what I given is 0.5, you take 0.5 only. Okay. Tooling, you go. Okay. Rough milling, it is 1500, it's okay. Feed rate, let it be 100 only because they have given in the problem. For rough milling, 100. For finished milling, 50 and all that. If these are all okay, you retain the same thing, 1500 and all that. Depth, you go. Depth is, it is minus 6, take you one. The depth of cut is minus 6, you take. But increment is 2, you take. And clearance after cutting, it will go up by the cutter will go up by 5 mm above the workpiece. That is all okay. You just say okay. Okay, now you get here as you see here uh, three circles you got one for two, one for four, another for 5.5. That means 5.5 to 6 is the finish. Anyway, I'll show you all that. Okay, now again tooling, milling cutter you go. Okay. For four, uh, that is finished milling, you have to take the diameter 4 for milling cutter. This is okay. Okay. Then operations, flat land finishing you take. And double click on this. Right button, right button. Ah, now once you do this, climb, percentage step over 10, everything you return it. Tooling, uh, speed is 2000. See here, uh, feed rate is 50. Earlier, rough feeding. And that is for rough milling, it was 100 mm per minute. Now, during finishing, the speed has enormously increased and feed rate has decreased. And you will have only the 0.5 mm depth of cut so that that finishing has been, finishing is done. Now, you go for the depth. Depth is actually minus 6. You do this, minus 6. And clearance, are. see here, clearance is after cutting, it will go up by 5 mm. Okay, that is also done. This you say, okay. Okay, now you see here clearly this finishing is done here. Beautifully it has come here. That is 2 mm, 4 mm, 5.5 mm and during 5.5 to 6 mm it will do and even on the sides also. Initially it will be a diameter of 19 and once it uh, removes 0.5 mm on the sides it will become diameter of 20. Okay, now everything is perfect here. Now I will go for isometric. It is perfect in this way. Now everything is ready for simulation. Now I'll go for simulate machining, I'll go. Simulate machining, I'll go. Since there are so many operations here, it takes little time. You just have to wait. And please go as per my procedure only. It is, see here, once you do this, click, click on this. Now it is doing fast. You can change the speed. Now you, now you see here, I'll re 
I'll uh, just remove this speed. Now I'll change the speed here. You see here. Now you see here, it is minus 2 here. I'll slowly increase the speed. Minus 2 it is. Profiling, there is no alliance. Now it is minus 4. Minus 4. And now it is minus 6. After that, it will raise up by 5 mm above the workpiece. It is minus 6, it will raise above. Okay, now, now the new tool has come. Do the, do, do the pocketing. Now it is minus 2, now minus 4, now minus 5.5. See here, now you carefully observe. It is the finishing what it will do for a 4 mm diameter. It is 5.5 to 6. Carefully observe. This is 5.5 to 6, what has been done. Carefully observe. This is the perfect way of understanding the things here. Okay. Now it is doing on the base and it will do on the sides also. It will do on the sides also. Then circular pocketing, it will go. Circular pocketing, it will go. Uh, now it is here. Minus 2. Then minus 4. It is Now it is doing minus 4. Then minus 5.5. Okay. Minus 5.5. Then the finish cutter will come 4 mm finish cutter. Okay. Then it will do the finishing only. See here. 5.5 to 6 only it is doing. Okay. The final thing. That is why the finish will be considerably improved if you go as per this procedure. Giving roughing, rough point finishing alliances. Okay. The, uh, giving the alliances, you can get the better finish of the product. Now it is doing the base. Then it will do on the sides also. Okay. Now this has been done. Now, if you see here, if you do this, it will go off. And again, if you do this, okay, you will get this. And uh, this, uh, if you do this, you will get back. You can do again uh, you, the simulation and all that. And if you want to go back, you go back. That means one simulation is over. This you have to show it to the examiner and all that. Now, this is another simulation, simulation mode. What you have to be careful here. Simulation mode, let us say simulation speed here. Like that, let us say you take 300. 300 to take, let's say okay, because you can say take 100 and observe carefully. Now I will, there's no time, that is why I'm ready, I'm increasing the simulation speed. I'll just say okay. Now I'll give the tracking, you see here. Now, first it'll do minus 2, you see here, minus 2, profiling, minus 4, and then minus 6. Sir. Minus 6 it'll be, okay, minus 6 it'll be, then profiling is over, then you see here. This is minus 2, minus 4, minus 5.5, then minus 6, sir. This is finishing. Okay, carefully observe. This is what you are interested and you should know this, how exactly it is being done. Then it will do on this side. Yes, here, minus 2, minus 4, minus 5.5 and minus 6 here. This has to be done carefully. Okay, now the simulation is proper in all respect and I given the 3D simulation and 2D simulation, with tracking feature also, so that in during for that is during roughing mill rough milling, it will be minus 5.5, and then 5.5 to minus 6, it will do the finishing. And after doing everything, the tool will raise above by 5 mm. As you see here, tool will raise above by 5 mm and stop. Now this is another part. And the important thing in all these things is generation of JNM codes. Generate JNM codes. Just say okay. You have to save the file. Save as something, profiling and pocketing, problem 4, session 2, something like that. You save this. Okay. If you do this, the CNC codes are generated here. Okay. CNC codes are generated by clicking on this uh, NC button. And uh, after saving this file, you give the name to this file and save this automatically. The CNC codes are directly generated and the same, whatever the codes are generated, you just have to take it and feed it to the CNC machine so that any complex component uh, with any amount of profiles and islands, what, what we talk about that later on and all that, anything can be obtained. Did you follow? This is the way you have to understand. See here, I'll just say, okay, okay, okay. See here, then code is generated. Uh, these are all the codes. This is how it is done. Thank you very much for watching, friends. Thank you.